Hey, welcome back to YouTube. In this video, we're gonna to learn to master your time. I'm gonna show you seven pro hacks to supercharge your Google Calendar. And we're gonna start off with creating tasks lists. So step one, open up Google Calendar on your desktop. And then on the left-hand side, you can see here under your calendars, you have a tasks calendar. Go ahead and select that task calendar. And then you have two options. You can either click anywhere on your calendar to create a task, or you can go to create and then add task. So create and add task, and that's exactly the same if you click anywhere on the calendar, and then go to task. And now what we need to do is we need to give our task a title and a description. Vacuum the poll. Okie dokie. So we can go ahead and do one of the drop down lists, hashtag maintenance. And I'm gonna go ahead and save this. Your tasks are here. Kablam. What we can do is we can add a new list. So go ahead and I'm gonna add a maintenance list and then I can move my task that I have vacuum the pool. So we're gonna go ahead and edit this and we're gonna add this to maintenance. And now if I scroll over to maintenance, woohoo, vacuum the pool. Supercharge skill number two is make note in Google Keep. So you can easily keep track of important notes while working in your calendar. Just open up Google Keep. So this is how we're gonna do it. On calendar, on the right hand side, you should have a quick panel. Now, so maybe you don't have a quick panel because it's hidden like that. So if you click on that little arrow, boop, you'll get the side panel. On the side panel, you've got keeps. So here we go, we can add a list or we can have a checkbox. Go ahead and click on this new list. The title for this is shopping. You need to get some chlorine. Again, with the spell, Carolyn. <laughs> Bread and eggs. Okay, Eddie Boo, that's for you, mate, eggs. So go ahead and press done. So now you've quickly added a note for your to-do list via Google Calendar. Supercharged skill number three is to set out of office status. So if you plan to be out of your office, update your calendar so that coworkers know that you're away from your office. So this is what to do on your desktop, obviously on Google Calendar, at the top of your calendar, click on the first date that you know you're gonna be out of office. On the 25th, I'm out of office. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna select this out of office. Pretty smart. So you can choose to decline all meetings, which includes existing meetings as well as new meetings, or you can choose to decline just new meetings. I'm gonna go ahead and do new meetings only, and then I'm gonna customize my message here. And then you can set that to public and then press save. It's gonna give you a pop-up, automatically decline new meetings during this time. You go ahead, say save and decline. All right, supercharge yourself, power four. Schedule your focus time. You can reduce stress by blocking out time on your calendar that lets you focus on what you need to get done. You must have a work account or a school account in order to do this. So here we are in the week view. Let's go ahead and create our focus time. On your calendar grid, just click a, a slot, a time slot here like that. And then you can go to focus time. So by default, you can say do not disturb, mute your chat notifications, automatically decline meetings. So we'll go ahead and select that and then give yourself a message. Okie dokie, I'm gonna go ahead and press save. And now that's set my focus time. You can go ahead and block focus times. You can schedule focus times on repeat. You know that you've blocked that time through and no one can book you in a meeting. Number five, which is creating appointment slots. Now I've had one-to-one -one meetings with my mentees and the best way to do this is just to create appointment slots. Turn blocks of slots. All right, how do we do this? Using your school or your work calendar, you wanna to go to the week or the day view. I'm in week view here. Click anywhere on your calendar, like here, and then we're gonna to go to appointment schedule. And then from here, we can add the details, including the title and details for the event. So I'm gonna say this is my one to one, to one oops, one to one meetings. Select the time, select your calendar that you want this to show up on, and then set up the schedule. And then you can go ahead and add extra information here. So check this out. Appointment duration. I want each appointment duration to be no more than 10 minutes. If I click on this, you can see there's no 10 minute slot. I'm gonna to go to custom. I'm gonna say 10 minutes. Change this to minutes. Boom. Okay, so it's changed my appointment slots to 10 minutes. You can add extra days and extra times in your calendar where you feel that you might have time for your appointment slots. I'm gonna go ahead and add Wednesday as well. So I'm gonna add a Wednesday. And Wednesday I'm gonna do from two to 4 p.m. to 4 p.m. And that's gonna add my 10 minute slots as well. Perfect, okay. And then I can go ahead and press on next and then add a description here as well. Okay, go ahead and press save. So if I go to appointment page, you can see on the 28th here, 
I've got my appointments that my attendees can select a particular appointment. So they can select that one and then go ahead and book. And then I will get an email in my inbox saying that that's been booked. And then I can even check on my calendar. So I can check on my calendar. I can see here, look, oh, this meeting is booked by so-and-so. Okay, so this meeting is booked by this person. And then I can go and meet that person or that piece person can come and meet me. Superpower number six is to check guest attendance. Now, if you need to track attendance on your events, you can instantly see who's accepted or declined your invitation and who's proposed a new meeting time. So here we go. I have a, an event, which is the media room training. And I can quickly see here, Jeffrey has accepted this invite. Peter is a maybe and Emma still needs to accept that invite. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and email my guests who are awaiting, I'm gonna go ahead and say to them, hey, are you coming to this event? And I can go ahead and send this out to make sure that Emma replies to this invite. Okay, so power number seven is to schedule private or personal events. You can add personal events to your work calendar where details aren't shown to other people. If I have a doctor's appointment coming up, so I'm gonna go ahead and click here, doctor's appointment. And then when I go to my calendar, I can set my default visibility to private. And then this way, no one else can see what's happening. So if I add a description here, all right, go ahead and save that. Now, whenever someone else looks on my calendar, they'll just see that as a busy slot. This is a colleague's timetable. You can see everything here is busy because it's set as a private event. So it could be useful to set events that you don't want other people to see the detail for as private so that you have all the information, but other people don't. Let me know in the comments below which one of these seven skills you're gonna be using in your Google Calendar to supercharge your productivity and save time. Anyway, as always, I'll catch you in the next one.